So 2025 is about to end. And let's be honest, it's been a tough year for people in tech. The job market was cooked, competition was brutal, and I don't even want to talk about people shouting that AI will take all our jobs on Twitter. But if you did manage to get a job, that's awesome. Seriously, congrats. And if you didn't, or maybe you're thinking of switching to a different tech role, or you're just new and want to get into something future-proof that also pays well, then this video is for you. Because in this video, I'm going to share five tech jobs that aren't going anywhere anytime soon. And yes, they pay really well. You've probably noticed every few months, tech feels like it's going through an identity crisis. One minute, it's all about data science. The next, it's blockchain. Then suddenly, there's AI. The truth is, technology is moving ridiculously fast. And if you're someone working in tech or trying to break into it, you can't afford to guess where things are heading anymore. You need to know what skills will actually matter in future because the last thing you want is to spend years mastering something that gets replaced by a weekend AI tool. So in this video, we're not just listing job titles. We're breaking down why these roles are rising and how you can take advantage of this. So the first job on our list is cybersecurity analyst. So what do they actually do? In simple terms, a cybersecurity analyst is the person who makes sure your company's data doesn't end up being sold on some sketchy forum on the dark web. They protect networks, investigate threats, and basically make sure hackers do not get illegal access to the company's data. Now, why this role is rising is pretty simple. Everything is online now. Companies have gone fully digital. Their data, customer records, financials, even internal communications, data breaches, ransomware attacks, phishing scams. These aren't just big tech problems anymore. Even small startups and schools are being targeted. So companies are panicking and they're paying top dollar for people who could defend their systems, detect vulnerabilities, and react fast when things go sideways. The demand for skilled cybersecurity professionals is massive and only growing. So whether you want to work for a company, become an ethical hacker, or even build your own consulting gig, there's space for you here. Bottom line is as long as there's data on the internet, cybersecurity will always be in demand. Next up, let's talk about a role that has quietly become the backbone of literally every modern company, cloud engineer. So what does a cloud engineer actually do? Think of them as the people who manage the servers you'll never physically see. They design, build, and maintain cloud systems on platforms like AWS, Azure, or Google Cloud. Instead of dealing with physical machines in some freezing data center, they're working with virtual servers, storage, networks, databases, all through the cloud. Now, why is this role rising so fast? Because almost every business has realized that owning physical servers is expensive, slow, and kind of outdated. Cloud is cheaper, faster, scalable, and way easier to maintain. Startups, enterprises, hospitals, banks, everyone is moving their systems to the cloud. And this migration isn't slowing down. The demand for cloud engineers is huge and will stay this way for years. Now let's talk about a role that's very popular and there is no way AI will be replacing them in the near future. DevOps plus full stack engineer. I know these are two different roles, but companies nowadays have stopped hiring for an individual role like front-end developer. They want someone who can work on different things because it saves them money. Rather than paying three different people with different roles, companies prefer to pay one person who can do many things. So I think most of you are already familiar with these roles, but in case you aren't. A full stack engineer handles the full application layer, front-end, back-end, APIs, databases, all the things by themselves. A DevOps engineer focuses on the deployment, automation, pipelines, cloud infrastructure, monitoring, and making sure everything is reliable. Basically, these are the people who understand the entire life cycle of an application, from idea to code to production. Now, why are these roles rising so fast? Because companies, especially startups and mid-sized teams, want engineers who can do more than just write code and hand it off. They need people who understand DevOps culture, automation, continuous integration, cloud deployments, containerization, because that leads to faster shipping and more stable systems. It sounds like a lot, but you do not need to learn everything at once. In the initial phase, you can just focus on becoming a full-stack engineer and later learn DevOps. 
If you don't want to be both, you can just focus one thing. They both are in good demand, but to be honest, competition is a little high. The demand for DevOps plus full stack engineers is huge because companies want people who understand the full life cycle. If you're the person who likes to be jack of all trades, you can go with this combo or you can just pick one and just focus on that. Now let's talk about one of the most talked about, hyped up, and impactful roles of the decade, AI and machine learning engineer. So what does an AI or ML engineer actually do? In simple terms, they build systems that can learn, predict, and make decisions. They're the people behind recommendation systems, chatbots, fraud detection, self-driving features, and all kinds of AI-powered tools you use every single day. If you've ever wondered why Netflix somehow knows exactly what you want to watch or how your bank detects suspicious activity in seconds, that's ML engineers. Now, why is this role rising so dramatically? Because AI is no longer a future technology. It's here. It's everywhere. And every company want a piece of it. Businesses want to automate processes, personalize user experiences, analyze huge amounts of data, generate content, improve decision-making, and build smarter digital products. To do that, they need people who can build, train, and deploy machine learning models. Companies are scrambling to hire people who understand how these systems work and how to integrate them responsibly. You don't need a PhD to get into AI anymore. The field has become much more accessible. You can easily learn with the help of online resources. If you enjoy math, logic, innovation, and building things that feel almost magical, AI or ML engineering is one of the strongest tech careers you can choose. Finally, let's talk about a role that doesn't always write code, but somehow controls half the things developers end up building, product manager. So what does a product manager actually do? A PM sits right at the intersection of business, tech, and users. They talk to customers, translate needs into requirements, work with designers and engineers to bring everything to life. Basically, they're responsible for making sure the team builds the right thing. Now, why is this role rising? Because companies have realized that just having good developers isn't enough. You need someone who understands a market, understands the users, and can connect those needs to a clear technical direction. They don't need to code, but they do need to understand how things are built, what's possible, and how long things realistically take. You can also start in roles like QA, design, business analysis, customer support, or even full stack development and transition into PM once you understand the product deeply. The cool thing about being a PM is that the role is always in demand, even outside traditional tech. Fintech, health tech, education, logistics, AI, retail, everyone needs product managers now. So if you're someone who loves solving problems, enjoys talking to people, understands users, this is one of the best, most future-proof roles you can choose. And that's the breakdown, the tech roles that aren't just trending today, but are gearing up to dominate the upcoming years. Whether you're leaning toward AI, security, cloud, DevOps, full stack, or product, the message is the same. Tech isn't shrinking, it's evolving. And the people who evolve with it are the ones who win. So if you're just getting started, pick a direction, start building skills, start shipping small projects, and keep your momentum moving forward. If you found this helpful, hit the like button, drop a comment telling me which role you're aiming for, and subscribe because I post videos just like this every week. So, I'll see you in the next one.